So welcome to my channel. This is my 2002 Toyota Sequoia. Now, I came to the best place, which is the mountain, where I wouldn't feel so embarrassed. But honestly, this feels really weird. I'm actually at Silverado Canyon and it's a Monday. Uh, I wanna say it's like 4.30 o'clock. I just got off work. And I knew no one was gonna be here, so I wanted to come record. But I haven't done this in so long and it just feels really weird. And I wanted to show you guys my rig. So to start off, this is a 2002 Sequoia four-wheel drive and I have the SR5 because I am poor and I couldn't afford the limited. Uh, <laughs> right now, I just hit 179,000 miles and honestly, this is my first day daily driving this truck, but I am in love. Like, I had a Honda Accord before this and it's, and it's a major upgrade from such a small vehicle, but man i i just feel at home driving the sequoia and it's so capable of doing anything that you throw at it that i am so amazed so let me start off with reason number one as to why i got a sequoia engine bay is a little bit dirty because i did go muddy one day and i just never cleaned it up except for this part but this is the first reason it is a v8 4.7 liter engine now the only work that i have done to this number one most definitely an oil change. Number two, I did a transmission oil change with a new filter. Number three, I did all of the ignition coils and spark plugs. Number four, I did the timing belt water pump. Um, number five, I did an air filter. And you know what? This buddy does not work, so I have no windshield washer. As long as you maintain and you stay on top of all your records, you will have no issues on this bad boy lasting you 300,000 miles, 350,000 miles that you keep seeing everyone posting on Sequoia forums, on Facebook or on IG. These engines are built to last. Reason number two, I love the Toyota Sequoia, the space. I am six foot three and it was hard for me to lay down in a 4Runner. It was hard for me to see myself in a 4Runner. Let me show you why. So this does look like an awkward angle. And I am really sorry, but this is reason number two. I can lay down all the way up here. I can lay down pretty much straight and sleep in the Sequoia. Now that's just to show you that's with the second row down. I did take the third row out. There's plenty of space here. Today I did take a solo trip up here just because I wanted to relax. But if I take this second row seat and flip it over, there is more than enough space for my girlfriend and I to camp in here and sleep and be safe from the bears. This is honestly my favorite thing. I think my plan with everything in here, um, I'm going to build a pull-out drawer system for the Sequoia. Only a handful of people have made it from what I am aware, but it is one of the things that I really want to get done. And you know what? The gas mileage, we'll just, we just won't talk about that because it's pretty heavy and it's a big boy. As of right now, it is sitting on 285.70.17s with the BF Goodrich KO2s. And then these wheels I wanted to get aftermarket. I didn't want to get something really expensive. So I got them from a company named Level 8 Motorsports. It's a 17 inch rim. And I just love the way that it makes the truck look. I don't know, to me, it seems like a Japanese wheel and I really, really love that. So that's probably one of the main reasons why I wanted them since the beginning. Now let's talk about the front of the vehicle. I get a lot of questions about this and it, it was custom fabricated by one of our local fabricators here. Uh, he just does work out of his backyard. He works on a lot of 100 series and a bunch of other forerunners and other rigs. And, um, I really liked this whole front end. Uh, I did take the idea from Sequoia Daddy on Instagram. His Sequoia is the most insane. And I really wanted a sleek, sleek, clean look. I didn't want that super chunky, super out there uh, front bumper. And I was like, I think this is the one for me. Now, I love this front end and how great it looks. But what I do have for suspension is a two inch coilover from a company named AFE. These are probably one of the only companies that do make coilovers for the Sequoia. And right now I'm at two inches, like I said. Uh, 
but I have plans now that this is my daily driver, I have extra funds to lift this to three inches. It's gonna give it such an aggressive look and I simply cannot wait. I am a budget overlander, so the lights that you see here and here and on top of the hood, um, they are just cheap Chinese lights. And you know what? As long as it works for me, that's perfect. I don't need anything else. I don't need a name brand. As long as they turn on and they let me see, that's perfect for me. One of the other things that I did do was I replaced both the headlight and the side markers because they were really yellow and I just love this clean, sleek look. I've had these for a couple months now. I did get them off eBay. Um, I don't know the brand, but I will link it down below. Anything that I can link, it's gonna be in the description. Now, on top of the roof, I do have an awning and I do have my traction boards. Like I said, I try to keep it as budget friendly as possible. I am gonna get a roof rack though, probably within the next month. Um, so I just drilled a bunch of holes <laughs> in my OEM roof board. And then lastly, I have the Pelican rifle case that I keep all of my recovery gear up here and just extra stuff. My girlfriend is allergic to the sun. So one of the first things that I did do to the truck, I don't know if you could really see it in video, uh, but I tinted my front windshield by 20%. And yes, I know it's illegal in California. One of the other mods that I did do, I did get an aftermarket Alpine uh, Apple CarPlay screen. It's just, it's come really in handy. And with the Apple CarPlay, when you go to the apps, there's Gaia, there's uh, Apple Maps, there's Google Maps. I even have fucking Zoom, that's insane. I honestly think this is one of the best things because then you don't have to have your phone mounted and you could just take a look at where you're going on the trails right in front of you. I am a pandemic overlander. I really wanted to get out and I didn't know any other way to do so with my girlfriend because I really like to travel, but as you guys know, everything was closed. Um, booking Airbnbs was a little difficult as well. So I started this build back in January no, I'm sorry, I started it back in February and I'm gonna post a picture of what it looked like stock right here. And that's what it looked like stock. Um, I, I'm really happy with this rig. I, I didn't know a lot coming into this quote unquote world. Um, I have met a lot of supportive people. I have met a lot of people that actually are willing to answer questions for the ones that have been doing this for a very long time. Um, I never picked up a wrench before. I never picked up a tool set, but I'll tell you what, me doing all the work on this truck with the help of others and letting me watch them do the work has taught me a lot. So I just made the decisions to say, you know what, I'm going to daily drive the Sequoia. This is my car and I just love the crap out of this thing. So I just sold my daily driver probably a couple days ago and I am in love just daily driving this thing. Right now, it is taking about 85 bucks from a complete empty tank to get to full. Now, this being my first video, I know it's probably a little bit awkward. It's been a while since I've recorded any kind of YouTube video or recorded myself in front of a camera. Um, so I know I missed out on a lot of information. So whatever questions you guys do have, just feel free to drop them down below or shoot me a message on Instagram that's also gonna be down below. Um, but I think that's just gonna do it for now. This is my walkthrough on my 2002 Toyota Sequoia. Um, the last thing before I go, I think this will be my forever outro is, don't forget to change your ball joints. Goodbye.